As the future of a North Nashville hospital is up in the air, many in the city are voicing their concerns. An audit of Metro General revealed financial issues. New Channel 5's Kimberly Davis was at a town hall meeting where the CEO had an open conversation with members of the community who need the hospital the most. We have to try to come together and, and stick together and try to keep this hospital open up. A desperate plea from the community Saturday morning, where dozens gathered in a town hall meeting to focus on the future of Nashville's safety net hospital. We are the only hospital in the city that provides care to a patient population regardless of their ability to pay. Dr. Joseph Webb is the CEO of Metro General Hospital, and he was one of the faces in the crowd addressing concerns and taking questions during the town hall. Do I want this group to be able to ask the questions? Because I know they have some questions that they need answered. This town hall comes after Metro General Hospital was audited by Crossland certified public accountants. In the report, it shows that the safety net hospital doesn't have enough money to cover the expenses going out. The funding is oftentimes a challenge for us. The CEO says the funding provided by Metro is not adequate for its expenses, which is why General requests additional funds because it doesn't last for the full year, and in most cases, it never receives the full amount that is requested. There is no financial mismanagement, uh, and if there was, then I should know about it firsthand. But the audit report says management did not sufficiently monitor transactions, review activity, or reconcile or analyze accounts on a consistent basis during fiscal 2017 or as of June 30th, 2017, which ultimately affected the hospital's financial statement accounts. Though the future of the hospital is uncertain, supporters remain hopeful. Well, I'm always hopeful. I know that people will do the right thing, ultimately. In Nashville, I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5. Mayor Megan Berry announced she would try to convince the council to turn Metro General into an outpatient clinic instead of a full-service hospital. But the CEO says if that happens, that would eliminate the emergency room as well as inpatient beds.